What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to give you an introduction into perimeter and area. So first of all let's start off with perimeter. Now perimeter is basically the total length around an object and when you're talking about perimeter and area it's really important to use units. Okay so like inches, miles, feet, kilometers, meters, whatever. You have to use some sort of measurement units. Okay so Let's start with this box right here, something simple, okay? So let's just say it's a box, right? So that means all the sides are equal. So let's just say the top, we'll say it's one inch. Okay, so that means all the sides are one inch long. Okay, so if you wanted to find the perimeter of this shape, all you would do is add up all the sides together. So you'd do literally one inch plus one inch plus one inch, right? So four times total that would be equal to four inches, right? So then the perimeter, the total length around this area would be four inches. Now, if you wanted to switch it up a little bit and find the area, the way you find the area of a shape or square specifically is by multiplying two of the sides together. And specifically, we're talking about the length and the width. So the way you would label that is one of the sides, this horizontal side we'll call the length, and then this vertical side we will call the width, and I'll label that with a W, okay? So it's important to also realize that since this is the length, right, the horizontal side, this is also a horizontal side, right? So then this would also be considered a length. And then this vertical side we call the width, so that means this vertical side right here would also be called the width. Okay, and the way you find the area of a square like this would just be by multiplying the length times the width. Okay, so in this case, the length would be one inch, right? And then we would multiply that by the width, which is also one inch. Okay, so what's one inch times one inch? Well, that would be equal to one inch squared, okay? Now, where is this square coming from? Well, it's because we're basically combining like terms, okay? So what's one times one? Well, that's one, okay? And now what's inches times inches? Well, that's inches squared. Okay, so to give you an example, let's say we took a number, let's say five, and we multiplied it by itself. So five times five, we can rewrite as five squared, right? So that means something times itself is equal to that same thing squared. Right, and we can also do that with variables. What's x times x? Well, that would be x squared. Okay, so what about inches times inches? Well, that would be inches squared. Okay, what about feet times feet? Well, that would be feet squared. Okay, so it's really, really important to know that whenever you're talking about area, your units will always be something squared. Okay, and whenever you're talking about perimeter, you'll just have plain old inches or just feet or just miles, okay? Because perimeter is the same thing as a length. It's just a distance. Okay, so let's try one more example here. So here we have a, a rectangle, right? So let's say this side is four feet and this side is seven feet. And then this side is the same as this side, right? So it's also four feet. And then this bottom side is the same as the top, so it's seven feet. Okay, so if you wanted to find the perimeter, Remember, perimeter is just adding all the sides up together. So we could say that the perimeter is equal to four plus seven plus four plus seven. So what is that equal to? Well, let's see, four plus seven is equal to 11. So 11 plus 11 is equal to 22. Okay, and remember, what are the units? 22 what? Well, it'd be 22 feet, right? Because all the units on here are feet. Okay, easy enough. Now, how do you find the area? Well, again, the formula for area for a square or a rectangle is length times width, okay? So we can say that the length is this horizontal side, and then we can say that the width is this vertical side. Okay, so the length we can say is seven feet, right? Seven feet. And then we're multiplying that by the width, which is four feet. Four feet. So, what's 7 times 4? That's 28. And then what's feet times feet? That would be feet 
squared. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.